Hey y'all, Kristen here and welcome back to my channel. So if you want to learn a little bit more about how to kind of hijack your brain and lower anxiety, depression, things like that, then this is a video that's for you. I'm going to be talking a little bit about the neurotransmitter dopamine. It's also called motivator neurotransmitter, responsible for kind of telling your body what to do, essentially. It can have a big impact on things like emotions, things like pleasure, pain. There's a lot of research out there that kind of shows that like too much dopamine is linked to like diagnoses like schizophrenia and too little is linked to depression, anxiety, ADHD. And so when we have too little dopamine, things like lack of pleasure, things like lack of focus, down mood, anxiety, moodiness, fatigue, lack of energy, trouble sleeping, gut issues, digestive issues, etc are all kind of symptoms there so if you struggle with any of those then this video might be of help to you so i'm gonna list and talk about some of the things and some of the ways in which i tried to kind of increase my dopamine levels in a natural way or to kind of help with some of those symptoms and also just to live a healthier lifestyle in general because that's some of the things that i do is i do a lot of breath work so a lot of like deep breathing yoga different like meditations those have been insanely helpful in pulling out my dopamine levels and it just helps to bring a sense of calm and peace and present awareness to my body and my mind so i love that the other thing that research suggests actually is eating foods that are high in tyrosine so things like fish almonds avocados bananas beans are higher in that specific ingredient or three is to exercise regularly i don't care what this is if this is walking biking going to the gym swimming i don't care what that is for you for me it's a lot of running hiking walking biking yoga things like that are what i really enjoy so that's what i focus on and that's what i do personally um, but regular exercise not only is going to help your brain but it's also going to help with those dopamine levels there's nothing like a runner's high i will 100 percent recommend it uh, there's just something about a short run that does so much for my mood for my brain and it helps with the releasing of dopamine and all the happy chemicals listening to music specifically binaural music is actually linked to increasing dopamine levels and helping with boosting your mood and your energy levels so i'll kind of maybe play some here um it's just kind of some relaxing like beats and music and tones that are very calming and relaxing and actually are linked to increasing and boosting your mood now you can choose to listen to just any type of music that you enjoy no doubt music is definitely a great mood booster but specifically binaural beats can definitely be is definitely linked to a lot of just benefits in terms of improving your dopamine levels your energy your mood and improving your sleep so trying to have a consistent time when you go to bed a consistent time when you wake up honestly i'm not very good at this necessarily all the time but i try i try to have a consistent routine of when i go to bed and when i wake up and so i try to do that and i also try to like keep in mind of my body and what i maybe need so some nights i maybe need a little bit more sleep or a little less sleep but i do try to maintain consistency as much as possible and find ways to help improve my sleep like doing meditations before bed not being on my phone things like that some like dopamine boosting supplements if you want to go more the supplement route you can do things like magnesium can be helpful things like probiotics can be helpful and actually a fish oil or a good vitamin d i'm a big fan of like fish oils and vitamin d supplements they've been instrumental and in not only helping with like my eyes fish oils can be great for your eyes but they're also great for your mood and especially being from minnesota it is very dreary in the winter time and so i'm not getting the necessary vitamin d not even close and so taking a vitamin d supplement or a vitamin d vitamin in general is going to be very beneficial in just kind of making sure that my vitamin d levels are regulated because that does impact your energy levels and your depression physical touch so you know giving hugs to people is a great way right hug your friends hug your family allow yourself to embrace other people that are close to you that you love show them some love and it is sure to also increase your dopamine levels as well actually fidgeting i found this interesting i had actually i tend to like move my hands a lot and fidget a lot if you guys can't tell so actually it's actually been shown that if we're like bored or maybe you're not bored and you just struggle with like sitting still fidgeting with something 
anything that you love, redirects your brain to the focal point and actually can be linked to like the promotion of dopamine. Grab a fidget toy and fidget to your heart's content. Find something to fidget with. Whatever is gonna work best for you. So taking a cold shower, I know this is not ideal, but I've actually started, I let my face in like colder water in the mornings when I'm washing my face or whatever. And that not only helps wake me up, it's not the most pleasant experience, but it does help wake me up. It reduces inflammation on my skin and my face, which is awesome. And also linked to increasing my dopamine levels right when I wake up in the morning. So that's another benefit. Decreasing your sugar intake. Um, sugar intake can actually disrupt your dopamine levels. So if you drink a lot of sugar in your coffee, eat a lot of sugar, it might be worth just kind of evaluating and seeing if you could cut back a little bit on your sugar intake. Actually, a big part of it was I was diagnosed with irritable bowel syndrome and just various, I've had so many gut issues. I am like gluten-free, dairy-free, and I've been cutting out a lot of things. And one of those things is high sugar. And so with cutting down on that, I feel like that has helped reduce cravings but also has just helped improve my mood your gut health if your gut is like out of alignment and there's not good bacteria actually can impact your body's ability to like deuce dopamine times like the good bacteria in your gut if you have good healthy bacteria in your gut they're gonna produce dopamine if you don't have any good bacteria in your gut you're not going to probably produce a lot of dopamine. And so getting rid of the bad bacteria and keeping the good bacteria is kind of your goal there. And so talking to your doctor about this, whether that's taking probiotics, whether that's taking um, a magnesium supplement, like whatever you need to do. Obviously getting more sun as well and you know, SAD light, kind of a sad light. So seasonal depression is a thing. And so using even just like getting a light like that, you can get one on Amazon and using that can be very, very beneficial in just kind of helping out with increasing those dopamine levels. One of my tips there of how I naturally or as naturally as possible increase my dopamine levels and help to maintain a stable mood, have less anxiety, and just maintain better physical and mental health in general. I hope this video brought value to you all. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.